Hi, welcome back to my channel at home with Sheila. On today's episode, I'm gonna be doing a mini home tour. Showing you a little bit what I've been doing for my Easter spring decorating and into a little bit into the summer. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'll be honored to have you in my YouTube family. Okay, so sit back and relax and let me get the camera turned around and we'll get started. All right, here's the entrance to my home. This is when you walk in the front door, you go into the front foyer. I did a video on how I styled all of this here, and you can refer back to uh, my previous videos. And here, I just did a little bit of Easter. I got these beautiful carrots at TJ Maxx. Love how they are. They're kind of like bent, all at different angles. I'm loving those. And there's another one of my $2 clearance Michael's um, base and then I'll just put this little Easter linen here I love it how I love that green and white polka dot isn't it beautiful and here's my little Easter egg and I kind of carry the green theme with some eggs and down here at the bottom with my little um, pillow home pillow I got like one of the little faux Easter egg boxes I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby I love those. I like decorating with those, especially at Christmas time, because they can really, like, like a pop of color and accent. Love that. And that's what it looks like. And panning around to my front door, this is my, oh God, it's so pretty. I love this. This is where I got the green from. This is my, I made this myself. This is my wreath I made two years ago. And look how great shape it is. And I got a lot of uh, things from um, Hobby Lobby. Got the ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And I got the uh, little bunnies from AC Moore. I love how beautiful this thing is. Look how gorgeous. Look at the little Easter bunnies. And all I did was I used um, two different color of mesh, like a light green and a darker green. You can see uh, the lighter and darker greens. I used three different types of ribbons, um, two of those Easter bunny, like um, just their head figurines. I kind of wedged them down in there. And I got these little plastic little Easter eggs here. I'm not sure where I got those, but, um, and I just kind of went around and added the, the ribbon here and there. Look how beautiful. But that's where I got the green. I wanted the green to come into the table so it kind of pops off of this. And... Here, I got this sign here. It's kind of like distressed. I got it at uh, Gabe's. Love how that looks. I'm gonna turn around, show you the other wreath I got. This is the other wreath. Sorry about the light here. Now, on the back side of my door, I got this wreath here. It's a, um, got it at Kohl's. Beautiful for Cynthia, flowers in it. It is a pretty good size. I may not show on the camera, but it's really, really big. And I love how the yellow with the green and the orange, it really pops. And I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but is that way when the door is closed, when I look down here and I just smile, because, uh, you know, I've told you before, i got yellow all throughout my house. I love, love, love how this looks. Alrighty, and then I'm like, sorry for spinning you guys around. So sorry. And here is the entrance to, when you first walk in. Down there is another area that's a work in progress. That's my other that comes in from the garage. But I just got some faux tulips in that little home sweet home, a uh, little galvanized metal bucket. Um, and I got the, the mirrored cabinet for $10, you guys, $10. And that huge clock is bigger than what it looks like on camera. I got it at Sam's for $20. And now this area down here is a work in progress. But in, and as you come in from my front door, going up. Okay, what you're seeing is actually um, part of my living room. Um, I'm gonna try to pan it around a little bit so you can see, and I will walk you through uh, a little bit more of it. This is our newest purchase. We bought this a couple of months ago. This is our sectional, we bought it at Rooms to go. Um, it came with a few pillows, and all I did was add some for pops of color. And also for Easter, I got this Hip Hop and Hooray. Uh, I got it from Kohl's. I love how it's so cute. 
and I like the gray. And then um, some of these pillows, um, I just added back to it, a little bit more color to it. And I pan around. There is my ladder, it's a blanket ladder I got at Hobby Lobby. Who said you gotta put blankets on these ladders? And here all? is, I uh, love, love, love what I did with this. This is a ladder I got at um, Hobby Lobby. I mean, who said you got put blankets on it? And I thought, you know what? I really love those little, I think I hauled them. Was this home and family, like a little bitty block. And I loved the font on them, like a typewriter font. And I just kind of put them up there one day and I thought, hmm. So I put them little sticky, tacky, uh, little glue dots on the bottom of them. And I kind of, so they actually won't fall off my ladder. And I got these, they're actually two, um, garland i'm not sure what they're called i think somebody called them a succulent garland maybe i'm not real sure but i love the way it looks here in the corner and panning out i just got these uh there's actually this venice rome in london i love 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 these i got these at um actually i thrifted them there's actually a fourth one but uh it, when we moved, it kind of got cracked, so I just kind of stayed with just three there, so. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm going to pan around to our new media cabinet, because when we bought the sectional, I wanted a different kind of a media cabinet. Again, rooms to go. Here, all I got is this initial H. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby on 50% off. And there is some lambs here. I think there's like two or three sets of it or strands um i got it at, believe it or not at tj max and they're huge and there is and it's sitting in i'm so sorry for the shadow it is sitting in my two dollar clearance base i got of michael's and these little bunnies here that say easter i got them at home goods the sign came from hobby lobby candlesticks hobby lobby and I just got a, like a, a wreath down there with a huge candle. And I always burn candles. I am a candle fanatic. Love, love, love candles. And I really love this one. It's called the Woodwick. That sounds like a crackling kind of wood in it. Love it. Believe it or not, I got them at Gabe's. They're the cheapest there, believe it or not. If you got a Gabe's, go to it. And here is... Please do not pay attention to them ugly, ugly, ugly wires. We are actually going to be painting this summer. So my husband was going to bury them in behind the wall. But since we're going to be painting, I said, you know what? I, I can deal with it for now. But I did order a um, cover from Amazon, so it's coming pretty soon. Now, this here is my pride and joy. I love these. These are actual candle holders. I got them at Hobby Lobby. And all I did was put a faux... Uh, log. Um, it's actually a candle. I love these here. I just kind of set them in there. It's battery. And put it there. I've got one on each side of the TV. You guys, these are so unique and so pretty. I love, love, love these. There's the other one. Hope I ain't moving too fast, but I love the way it looks. It was... It was missing something, and I actually plan on getting two, um, I'm not sure, they're like ladder, look like book, ladder bookshelves. I'm thinking about getting one for each side of here and then one for here. And they, that's on down in the line. I may get it on down to maybe this file, but I really still want these. But I, when I put that up there, I loved how it looked. And I'm going to pan around a little bit. So you can see, I'm so sorry for the glare. And I hope you guys do not look at my curtains. I hate them. I'm going to have to be changing them. We got the about these uh, blinds are actually labor lures. They're that real. It's like a, it's the shutter, the, um, the shutters. When we bought the house, it came with them. And it's a love-hate relationship <laughs> I have with them. But anyway, that's another subject. But uh, I'm planning on getting some new curtains. I just don't know how to do it with um, the way the sectional is set up and then also this huge monstrosity here of this lampshade. Gonna be getting me uh, another one that is like ASAP, maybe this weekend. All right, I'm a pan away, panning down. This is the clearance basket I got at Home Goods where the lady gave it to me for $4. And see, I just patched it back. You cannot tell any difference. And I just threw a pillow in there. And 
this is a one of those trees that have and this here is one of those faux trees i love the way the bark um is um it's very unique i actually got it on one of them offer up and uh, they only paid like ten dollars for it i really really like that one and i am gonna pan around to um this little uh, little setup right here I uh, think you guys are probably seeing it on Instagram. That's my little Easter little um, vignette year. I can't talk. Vignette area. Sorry, I went to Dennis this morning. So, I love how it looks. There's my little Easter money. <laughs> he needs nestled in one of these uh, little wreaths here from Hobby Lobby. And I got this little Easter bunny, a little male and female. Got it at Ross. And my gnomes. Love, love, love romp gnome. Uh, these guys are so cute. And now this cabinet here um, is going to be getting painted really soon. Now I'm painting around. I know you guys have seen, um, maybe, um, this is my bird cage. I got it at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. I love it. Uh, it's huge. It, it doesn't show how massive it is, but it's really, really big. I love this guy. All I did was put like a garden ball in there, a little mushrooms, and a little bird sitting on the pedestal, and my Hello Sunshine. I got it hanging up. I really like how it looks, and it's nestled on another wreath I got from Hobby Lobby. And here is my my glorious uh, gallery wall here. Um, as you can see, I, uh, for you new, new ones, um, I've worked on this for a while, and I finally am very happy the way it came up. I got a video on how I did it. Um, you can refer back to uh, videos, and I'll kind of walk you through how, what I started with and how I wound up getting all of this. It came from, must have came from, as usual, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and I think a few items from Michaels. Painting down here, um, this is a, a console table I bought at Ross for $30, and it had a price sticker on it for $139. Love it. And I got some carrots. And um, I I forgot, you guys, I had bought this right here. I got to take it off because I'm still, I don't know what to do with it yet. <laughs> Those are my um, tulips that I love. They're the Real Touch tulips. And my little hop to it, right down a little plate. And then down at the bottom, I got one of them huge garden balls. And these are nothing but the home you're looking at. They're nothing but uh, wine bottles. I just kind of painted and put some burlap around it. Yeah, and these um, carrots came from um, last year at Home Goods. Oh my goodness, I, I may have to edit that um, cloche out because <laughs> it's like sticking out of a sore thumb. I just put it there because I just bought it this past weekend. I've been kind of on the, it wasn't feeling too hot last weekend. Alrighty, now I'm gonna be panning around and showing you a better view of my living room, that uh, there is a ball. It's my dog's toy. <laughs> Here is my dining room table. Um, no, this is not how it was, but because I've already started dismantling it, I had greenery on it, and my other little doodads, my little uh, cute little more carrots, and my little bunnies, but I started taking it down because like I said, I knew about decorating earlier. I'm already getting tired of it, but I just kind of left a little bit of stuff up. Um, this is my place setting. Um, I just got these plates here. It is a uh, pink and white, um, like a buffalo check gingham. And then I just use this here. I love the little accent of how it popped here with the green and yellow and the pink. And, um, and I actually did something a little different. I know there's two napkins there, but who says you only got, you know, you got to follow everybody. But I always do something a little different. But um, I got another napkin, and I put this sweet little carrot around it. That there was, uh, it's a napkin ring, but I just, I did have like a little um, bird's nest with some eggs in it. But like I said, I, I should have filmed that before, but I started dismantling it. And here is my beautiful floor arrangement. I got mostly all of these from... Hobby Lobby, uh, there's like maybe uh, four or five different um, stems, and I love how it turned out. Into my other vase, this is a large vase I got from Michaels for two no, $3 for this one. And the fruit here 
it's yellow. Um, it came from uh, Home Goods. You guys, the, these are really, really nice. They got them in a wide variety of colors. There's my little apple, and there's my bird's nest. Uh, I mean, excuse me, my little um, bumblebee skeet. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, I got um, after all my Easter comes out, I bring out some bee stuff, you know, for for you know for spring and summer. But anyway, there is my tablescape. I wish, wish, wish I could have uh, redone this and had it the way I did ha um, with all everything else on it. But me in my video and it's not the best because some reason I like to erase things or I'll put it in a wrong area. You know, it's a long story, but anyway, um, I really, really like how it's, it came out. And no, these are not my chairs. Um, they are still back ordered and actually they've been back ordered. Then I got a, uh, all of a sudden I got a refund and they canceled. So now I got to go through the whole thing again to find me the right chairs, but no worries. I'll, I'll get the chairs I want. I'll just reorder some, but, uh, alrighty. And there's that. Alrighty. And this is another little area I've got in my, it's right across from my dining room table. It's this, um, cat, well, I won't call it cabinet, but this little setup here. That's another little floor arrangement. Um, all came from Hobby Lobby down here this is a pocket care jar and all of these gold eggs came from the dollar tree actually i got like three or four packs of the small and the large and i just filled up the whole apothecary care jar i loved how that looked and um i love these um wooden beads here and i really like the way it looked and then of course my ray done a happy easter and on um, in that little home sign i got that from hobby lobby and down here, I love this right here. Beautiful. All came from Home Goods. I showed you guys in a shopping haul this here. And then down here is my faux books, another Easter egg, and a little basket with a little um, wooden hello that came from Hobby Lobby. You guys, my whole house is Hobby Lobby, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I love how this looked. Of course, now I'm changing all of this. It's all going to be all gone here. I'm putting up some open shelving up here, bringing in a new table, because this is right here. I'm not sure if it's going to be here or if it's going to be the other uh, side of my dining room table. I'm actually thinking about putting a, um, like a coffee bar. I'm going to um, gonna make it, but uh, yeah. This here is my Ray Dunn mug, um, mug holder, and I just put some greenery around it put some carrots in there and these little hip hop happy spring I just kind of stagger them around now this year I'm going to take um, I'm going to rearrange it um, after Easter because I'm going to do it with some lemon theme as you can see I got it sitting there I forgot to take it down but a lot of lemons are going to go up in here and I'm going to use um, a couple pictures I got from there um, from Ray Dunn yeah and here's my kitchen it looks a little little just you know all kind of different ways because like i said i'm taking a lot of the easter stuff down and bringing more in my summer decor but um i don't think it clashes too bad but uh here's up my little basket here i love this thing you guys it is the shape of a carrot i did it in a haul i love it and then this here is my little starting to work on my um my bumblebee uh thing little vignette areas um Love how this is setting up so far. And there's another apothecary jar. And all I did is put Dollar Tree. Those little carrots that everybody was going crazy over. <laughs> I just got a bunch of, um, I think like four packs or five packs. And I just kind of staggered them in there. And it, it really looked cute. I loved how this turned out. Really cute. And this here um, is going to. It's a work in progress. This is, like I said, I'm bringing some of my summer decor. But yeah, I love how that looks right there. And um, and this is another little um, area here. This is a stand I showed in a previous home decor shopping haul. This is what everybody's using for their Ray Dunn. I, I just kind of mixed it up with all kinds of things. But it turned out so cute. I love it. 
course, when I take all the Easter stuff down, it's all going to be changed up. So, I'll do an updated tour after all that. And um, this was a little stain here came from my Marshalls. And I just got my creamer and um, um, sugar little packets in there. And there's a little dollar store carrots. I'm loving these little things here. These little lemons and oranges and lime slices. Love these. And um, this here is a work in progress. I just got this from actually a sneak peek of the shopping hall. I'm working on this here. I just got it. Um, this little two chair tray has still got the price sticker on it. But I was kind of like uh, staging it um, to seeing how I wanted it. And um, this right here, um, love it. It came from Hobby Lobby as well. Uh, this is the cutest little lamp, you guys. Love it. And there's some more carrots right there. And uh, all I did was reverse the bowl because um, I really liked the way the orange popped on that there. And that's as far as we're going to go because they're uh, waiting on the top of our stove. <laughs> so I don't want to show you a topless stove. That's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, there he is. So sorry to show you my kitchen. It's not Alrighty, and that does it. That is my uh, little home tour. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I didn't spin you around too much. And I know it looked like it's a, it's a cluster of this and that and this and that. It's because coming from one, like I said, I was, I'm was i starting to take down some of my Easter and bringing more into my summer decor uh, with the yellow and the bumblebees and the lemons and whatnot. But um so it looks kind of like a splash of all kinds of colors, but it's coming together. So I'll do an updated tour and um, show what it looks like. But um, yeah. Alrighty. I hope you guys liked it. This is my little home. Um, well, not little, but you know what I'm saying? This is it. And I will show you more and more, especially when I get my new dining room table. And like I said, I'm going to get them books, um, them ladder book bookshelf thing you call it that's coming and um and i got another shopping haul i'm working on now so i've got a shopping addiction <laughs> all right that does it all right i hope you guys liked it hope i did not bore you guys too too much all righty
Okay, well, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I know I spun you around a lot, but there's so much more uh, to come, and I promise you guys, but I will do an updated summer decor. I promise I will, because like I said, I was pulling some Easter down, adding some summer, and then I was like, you know what? It would be me being sick last week. I'm like, oh my goodness, Easter is in a few days. I've got to get this film out, but um, but... So it kind of crept up on me, and I do apologize for that. All right, and I thank you so, so much for watching. And don't forget to like or comment. And don't also, don't forget to share me. I would be honored. I'm so, so grateful for you guys doing that, okay? And as always, from my home to yours, happy decorating. Bye, you guys.